Mr. Mr. Hisham Al-Abdi. Uh, Hisham Al-Abdi is a doctoral student at uh, Sidi Muhammad uh, University in uh, Fas. He is also a part-time uh, professor at, the, at uh, the Faculty of Letters and Human Sciences in Meknes. And his main interests are textbook uh, evaluation, ICT education, learning strategies, and uh, professional development. His uh, uh, presentation is entitled English Professors, Use of Computer Technologies in Moroccan Universities. Mr. Abdi, the floor is yours. Thank you, uh, Chairwoman. Uh, thank you, uh, members of the organizing committee, for organizing such an, an outstanding uh, educational event in which uh, teachers and professors and different researchers from Morocco are, have been summoned to discuss and share different opinions and views about uh, the use of uh, uh, information and communication technologies in our educational system. Uh, this uh, presentation indeed aims to report on a study that was conducted in so many different Moroccan universities with the objective of uh, uh, highlighting the use of computer technologies by professors of English in different universities. So the outline will be the following. So there will be an introduction, a very short uh, review of literature focusing on the Moroccan context because we are interested in the use of ICT in Morocco. And also a uh, short description of the methodology of the research, uh, as well as uh, discussion of the findings and analysis uh, of uh, the different results and the short conclusion. Uh, no one can deny the fact that uh, smartphones, computers, and uh, laptops, uh, iPads, and many other technological gadgets uh, have a very big influence upon individuals as well as uh, communities and societies as a whole. And because of this influence or because of this big impact upon individuals, different educational institutions, including universities, have decided to bring these technologies into classroom practices. Of course, they have decided to integrate technological devices for pedagogical purposes. I want you to underline this word, pedagogical purposes. That is the first and foremost objective of bringing these technologies into the, 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 the classroom. So, uh, like uh, many countries, uh, uh, Morocco has undertaken uh, several educational reforms, okay, in an effort to ameliorate and improve, and all, mainly update the quality of education provided for, uh, provided for our learners so as to prepare them to face the challenges of the 21st century. So, the Ministry of National Education, as well as the Ministry of Higher Education, launched different programs. Uh, yesterday, and even in today's presentation, uh, Mr. Uh, Youssef talked about one important project, which is Gini Project. I am not going to talk about it, okay? But I will mention maybe other technological programs that you are not familiar with. This one is Marwan Project. Marwan, it, it refers to the Moroccan uh, uh, academic uh, research wide area and its work. Another project is a CBM project, which is the Moroccan Virtual Campus. Um, the CAT project is Computer Assisted Teacher Training Project. And the last one, the last one is ALEF. ALEF project, which, is, uh, uh, which refers to advanced learning and employability for a better future. Uh, concerning the first one and the last one, I mean Jeannie and uh, Alec, they, those were the first project to be launched in different elementary, middle, elementary schools, middle schools and high schools. However, the second and the third one, Marwan and the CVM, they were launched at the university level. And uh, the last one is the CAT, which, which was targeting teacher trainees and teacher trainers as a whole. It means that the Ministry of Education and the Moroccan government in general has understood the importance of integrating technology in our educational systems. All these technological programs were built around three main areas or three main axes. The first one is ICT equipment, that is to say all these projects intend and plan to equip all Moroccan institutions and universities with uh, internet connected multimedia room, uh, 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 technological basic infrastructure in the forms of computers and data shows and projectors and many other technological gadgets that are very important for teachers to facilitate process, students uh, uh, process learning, of learning. 
Uh, also, there is another second axis, which is uh, the training offered to the teachers and administrators. Okay? So, because in fact, even if we are uh, focusing on what is called, we are adapting what is called the learner-centered approach. It means that uh, when teachers bring technology into the classroom, it's not for the sake of facilitating the job. If, it, if that's the goal, it's better not to bring technology in the classroom because the teacher is there to help the learners achieve better. The last one is curriculum development. So, for the, because of, we are like, limited by time, I prefer to uh, talk a, a little bit about the middle, the research that I carried in these universities. So, the, 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 uh, this uh, research intended to answer three main research questions. The first one is to what extent do Moroccan university teachers, um, I'm talking here about English teachers, integrating ICT in the, their teaching processes. The second one, what is the level or the degree of the institutional encouragement that is provided for these teachers to help them uh, use uh, technology uh, equipment effectively. And the last one, is there any correlation between, between the use of ICT and the level of, IC, uh, of educational support? Uh, there is a one hypothesis that can be developed from all these questions, which is null hypothesis stating that there is no correlation between the use of ICT and the level of, uh, of uh, uh, the level of institutional integration. That's the uh, that's what I will try to answer here. I have got here through two uh, uh, variables. The first one is professors' use of ICT, which is the main variable. By the way, we say it is called uh, in a statistic uh, an interdependent variable. Okay, and the last one, the second one, is uh, the institutional support, which is an independent variable. It means the one that is uh, thought to have an effect on the use of ICT. To make it very clear, maybe for uh, people who are not uh, indeed familiar with statistics, the level of institutional support is believed in this research is believed to have a great influence or a big impact upon teachers' use of ICT. That's what we are going to try to test here. The research design. I adopted a uh, mixed uh, method uh, approach here. That is to say, uh, I used the uh, five Likert uh, scale questionnaire and also a uh, semi-structured inter interview. By the way, I used technology to do this research. Uh, it means that uh, the questionnaire was online, an online questionnaire. And the interviews, they were not face-to-face -face interviews, but they were carried out via cell phones. Okay? They were, uh, so this is one of the advantages of using technology. It can help you also to make a, a research. The population. The population is composed of different uh, Moroccan English teachers. All universities were included. And here I have got some statistics provided by the Ministry of Higher Education, as you see here. So the total number of teachers of English working in different faculties of letters and multidisciplinary faculties. Maybe the figure is not clear. It is at uh, uh, there, please, at the, at the bottom. Okay, as you see here, the figure, the figure is there. So uh, 300, 361. Uh, professors of English works here in the different departments uh, uh, in various Moroccan universities. 170, 170 of them uh, were females. It means the third of the population of English teachers were mm, females. Uh, as far as the sample uh, for my, uh, really sorry, okay. Uh, concerning the sample, the sample for for my uh, research, it is composed of. Uh, um, uh, 163, 163 teachers, um, 163 teachers, and I have got here some information about her, uh, these participants in the interview. So I said that's 163, 69% uh, of them were females and 30% 30, 30 uh, were, uh, 69 males and 30% females. So. Uh, about half of the participants uh, were 51 years old or over. Uh, these are uh, the universities. Indeed, uh, most of my participants belong to different uh, universities, especially five universities: Munis, Ma'in, Mekna, Sidi Mohammed, Abdullah Fas, Brunto Five, Kinitra, Mohammed Five, uh, Rabat, and Hassan the Second, uh, Casablanca. So these are uh, the, the most uh, participants. Of course, uh, other participants belong to different universities. You may be surprised to find that uh, Akhawin University was included. There. It was done on purpose for comparative study because the conditions of working in that university is completely different from working in other uh, public universities. So, 41% uh, of the participants have more than 20 years of uh, teaching uh, experience. Uh, uh, the majority of the participants here, here have more than six years of experience. Concerning the findings, the findings of the research as far as the level 
as far as computer aid technology level in, I, in uh, different universities, we find that the highest means, the highest means are in uh, blue color, if you see here. So the highest mean is this one, 2.91. 2.91 indicates that the majority of teachers use the uh, computer technology to make handouts for students. Another high uh, mean is this one. It means that they don't use it to download different files and websites, and also they use uh, different presentation programs such as PowerPoint and Prezi, and also there is another high mean here, which indicates that uh, they do research on the internet to plan their lessons. The lowest means, which indicate that teachers do not ask their student to make a presentation, I'm uh, sorry, here they do not ask their student to research using the internet during class time, okay? And also they don't ask them to work individually <coughs> in groups during class time, and there are some several factors that can explain this, especially the lack of materials and lack of the internet. It's not the responsibility of the professors alone. So, uh, the, this is what we are interested in here, is this uh, mean, which is 1.74. Uh, 1.74, if you want to see the indication of the interpretation of this number, uh, it means that uh, it means that uh, 1.74. 1.74 falls under this category. 1.74, which means there is what there is a moderate level of, of ICT use integration in different uh, Moroccan universities within the English department. Uh, as far as the second question, which is concerned with uh, the level of institutional support, uh, a lot of teachers indicate that they do not receive uh, much support from this, their universities. There isn't any encouragement in terms of what? In terms of the training. So, the, the, here we've got 2.11, that's the mean, it's a very low mean. But please, go back to that, that number here, to this number, 2.21, which is the total mean of institutional, uh, institutional encouragement. Uh, this mean, this means that uh, if you want an interpretation of that number, uh, it means that there is a kind of uh, a kind of uh, low level of institutional support. Now, to answer the main question, which is, uh, is there any correlation between is there any correlation between teachers' use of ICT and the level of educational support? This number, that's the, co the coefficient of the correlation analysis, which is 0.59, <laughs> approximately 0.60. According to statistics, this is a very positive, a very positive correlation between, between the level of uh, institutional encouragement and professors' use of ICT. When you say positive uh, correlation, as one variable increases, the other variable increases as well. It means what? As the level of institutional encouragement increases in terms of technical support, uh, technological support, or even financial support, the use of ICT increases as well. If we really want our teachers to bring these technologies into the, the classrooms, we should, or we must increase the level of institutional support according to this uh, finding. Now, this p-value, the p-value is equal to 0 0.0. Uh, the p-value is equal to 0 0.0 and the alpha set is at 0.01. It is less. It is less than the alpha per, per alpha point set as zero one, which means that we can uh, reject the null hypothesis. If you remember, the null hypothesis saying that there is no correlation, so we have to reject it. There is a correlation, and this correlation is strong. It is. It, in order to make it clear, I have here a scatter plot. This scatter plot makes it a little bit clear. If you see the data points here, the data points scattered around the straight line. The straight, straight line indicates a positive correlation, and the data points uh, are clustered around it, which indicate that there is, there is a, a positive relation. This figure here is very important. We call it uh, in statistics that is the coefficient of determination, which is, three minutes, which is uh, uh, 0 0.30, 35. 30, it means what? That 30, 35% 35% of the variability in professors' use of ICT can be explained by the level of institutional support. 35. What about the 65? The remaining? It means that there are other variables. This is not the only. There are variables like the age of teachers, like the teaching experience, like, for example, computer training, like, uh, for example, the gender of the teacher, and even the positive attitudes or negative. That is to say, the attitude of the teacher towards the use of ICT, whether do they have um, the positive attitudes and so on. Of course, because of time constraints, I cannot cover all all these variables in this presentation. Okay, uh, uh, as far as the quality to find this, I will share with you some of the 
uh, findings of the interview. The interview here, so a uh, lot of participants uh, in fact emphasize that uh, the, uh, the institutional support is one of the major barriers or ba one of the major factors that can have a great impact upon teachers' youth. One of the teachers said, lack of support from the institution is one of the reasons many teachers do not integrate ICT in their classrooms. Another one said, honestly speaking, I would like my institution to provide teachers with access to the internet and uh, an electronic library. Uh, as far as training is concerned, participant number one, number four, said, I would highly appreciate if my institution, institution could provide us with good quality training. Participant seven said, quality training uh, courses for teachers are very essential to enable teachers use ICT devices to meet the needs of the new millennium learners. Uh, concerning uh, their opinions about the different programs and technological uh, projects that were launched by the Ministry of Higher Education, like Marwan and Khan and Ingenz, they said that they are a good initiative deserving that times up. These are P, uh, P11's words. Yeah. Another participant said, I, uh, personally I appreciate this policy since uh, information and communication technology has become an essential section of most organizations. However, these people are not satisfied. They are not satisfied with the, the actual use of ICT in our universities. They say there is a mismatch between what Moroccan government expresses and the actual facilitations of integrating computer technology. Another one said, I think the government's policy has proved to be unsuccessful in the sense that it has spent huge budgets, a lot of money, huge budget on Gini project, for example, and other initiatives, but the impact of such programs on teachers, teaching practices in Moroccan schools is almost absent. Uh, let's uh, uh, move finally to the uh, conclusion here, please. Uh, I really would like to say uh, that uh, teachers, in today's world, teachers who do not make use of computer technology will be replaced by those who do. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Sishan, for your insightful presentation, which adds to uh, what Mr. Ladajan said. Uh, Mr. Ladajan was focused on uh, how far uh, could institutional support uh, lead to a better integration of ICT in the classrooms. And this institutional support may be uh, technical 